Say it with me, boys. Wubba, wubba. That's good. That's all you get. <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> but hey, welcome to another BGN live stream right here on Twitch or on YouTube if you're watching the replay afterwards. I'm Shane the Beer One. That's Bones. Hey. And uh, we're playing more Doom. <laughs> we're playing more Doom Eternal, just like we did on Tuesday. Uh, direct continuation, so let's get right into it. Bones, how you doing? Wubba wubba, we're streaming, it's a good time. Game froze. Oh. <laughs> what? Never mind, oh. It, it was just, it was just, it, it was deciding what it wanted to do. But how you doing? How about that Nintendo Direct Mini? Y'all better be staying at home washing your hands <laughs> and fucking bleach. <laughs> Gargling with bleach? Yep. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, looky here. It's our old friend, Dell Support Assist. Leave me alone. <laughs> Every time, dude. Like, man, it was okay. It was... I... Oh, hello! Welcome to stream. But yeah, the Nintendo Direct was, uh... That's okay, I guess. Like, I saw someone on Twitter... I think it was Spawn Wave on Twitter said, It did its job... It announced games for the next, like, three or so months before they have their E3 direct or whatever it is. Uh, pretty cool to see stuff like Bioshock and Borderlands on Switch. I agree. That's very interesting. Shane, my boy. Hello, Nat. Welcome to the stream. Glad you could stop by. What are you doing over here? I don't know. Yeah, we're playing some Doom Eternal. I'm getting... Oh? Insert Sentinel batteries into the socket. That's what you do. You take a... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never. You take a. <laughs> you, you. That's not what I was gonna say, but thanks. <laughs> I was gonna say you take a big thing and you put it in the socket. <sighs> Off to a great start already. But yeah, we're just hopping right into it. I got the ice grenade. It's actually pretty helpful for crowd control. What? Oh, me? Why? But yeah, as always, let me know if the game audio is too low or too high. I'll adjust it. On the fly is someone's... Why does anyone watch me? This is an arc broadcast. It's really a it's really a mystery. And if you have any questions for me, they want me to answer. Just put them in stream chat or tweet them to me at Beardy Game In. Yeah, what's up? Arc leadership do not recommend any attempts to communicate with the Slayer So Doom directly. Eternal. <laughs> Please avoid all contact with Doom Guy at this time. While it is clear that the I love the expanded lore of this game and that they call him every single name that's available in the canon. Cuz like what is he? He's just Doom. Is he Doom Guy? Is he Doom Slayer? Is he the Doom Marine? Everyone calls him something different, so what's his actual name? It's just Doom. Doom, 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 Doom. He's just Doom. Hello? I am in Lay Elevator. I'm here. The only... The only elevator in the game that actually lets you move around in it. Which is weird. Doom Buggy. Yes. <laughs> I like where you're going with this. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. We gotta open the portal to the Ripatorium. Oh, you know what? I com I completely forgot that the Ripatorium was a thing. Remember? Because they're like, it's a practice room where you can just... Oh, yeah, I'm at that point in the game. And then we, we did it once for the mission and then completely forgot that it existed for the rest of the game. It's just a training room. I don't think so. Yeah, it's just a training room where you can, like, practice against dummy demons. And as we all know, the demons are thicky dumb. Dante. Trying to sneak by, but I'm too dummy thick, and the clapping of my ass cheeks is alerting all the demons. <laughs> yeah. 
it makes it even better that Daniel Southworth actually voiced that. <laughs> and it wasn't just like a fan voice actor that did it. It was pretty great. Where's this last fucking demon? What? What are you saying? Let's see, where the fuck is the demon? No, he's not. Oh, there he is. Well, oh, shut up. You reminded me of that stream day just as I was doing my makeup, by the way. Oh, well, good. <laughs> I'm glad I, I, I reminded you then. Because, you know, sometimes it's hard to remember every Tuesday, Thursday. Sometimes even I forget. No, no. <laughs> Listen here. Oh, hello, sir. It's not Samuel, it's the it's the unmaker. I did have one of those keys though, so that's good. Where's Samuel? He's on top. No, we don't have we don't have Samuel yet. No, that's what we go to Mars for and we blow a hole in fucking Mars to get Samuel. Or no, we get Samuel right before we blow the hole in Mars. Oh, we're still not done. What the fuck? Acquire a Praetor suit point. Especially because school is out. See? Sometimes it's hard to remember things. Listen. Yes. Here, I'm gonna take this suit point. I can use these to enhance my abilities. Like this. Um, reveals the auto map station. Or reveals all progression. I, yes. That's what I want. Oh, is that how you get that? I think that's how you get um, oh, where it shows you secrets on the map, yeah. Yeah, you gotta get the suit point first. I've gotten all of the secrets so far, though. Yeah? yeah? Did you get the one in the very at the beginning of the very first mission? That was in the cage under the crates? Yeah, yeah. yeah I got that one. Yeah, how'd you get it? It was, it was actually easy. You told me how to get it. Did I? Yeah. I got it. Did I? See. And then when I was playing it, yeah, no, not yesterday. Oh, just do this. Yeah, because I remember those ones. I didn't remember that one. See, you gave me sh like five minutes ago. You gave me shit for saying, "Oh, it's difficult to remember stuff sometimes." <laughs> Do you want me to come over there and slap you with my corona hands? Don't slap me with your corona hands. Here, check out these guns. What is this, an ASMR <laughs> Oh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> okay, so if I open the map... Well, shit, that was the wrong one. <laughs> Yeah? 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 Were you were you um ripping and or tearing over there? Rip and tear. Okay, so if I remember ah, ah my hands at G okay. If I remember correctly, I go over here. There's this bad boy. Over there. Don't worry, I, I see you, Mr. Secret. I'm coming for you. Ta-da! Oh, shit, I fell. You're so committed to collecting your little collectible toys that you fall off a cliff while you're admiring it. So was Dad going to Costco? Uh, today, yeah. Because him and Mom were talking about that earlier. Like, what do we need? Everything. <laughs> Toilet paper. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. 
doctor's telling this guy, he's like, oh, the front is is somewhere in this facility. Like, oh, I cannot man, pinpoint his exact location at this time. How could this happen to me? <laughs> How could this happen to me? <laughs> I made my mistakes. Okay, there's a one up down here. Never mind, there wasn't. I was deceived. Oh! Hello, friend. Um, there's one up over there, though. Is that the one? Oh, that might be the one. Okay. There's a sentinel battery up here? Up there? How the fuck do I get to it? Do you know how I get to it? The sentinel battery. Yeah. Um, I'm getting shot. I'm getting shot by people. Okay, it's back here. It's up there, apparently. Because it's like right there. Okay, we did we did this before. I fit platform. No, that's inside the building. Those are inside the building. Um, okay. Um. Tell. Did we? I have no idea anymore. Yeah, because I can see it. See? There it is. Are there breakable walls nearby? Oh. Yeah, there's a jump pad in here. Yeah, and that would send me up through here. Yeah, okay, we need to unlock it. Um, okay. Am I not? How do I lay open? Chainsaw didn't work. Is there a... Hang on. Maybe there's like a switch I need to shoot in here. Oh, maybe uh, like No. Where are you going? I can't believe you would just leave me here. Yeah, that's that. Okay. I need to get through. Yeah. I come th I come through here just to like actually progress. Oh, maybe this will happen. Maybe this will work. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time. Damn it. Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed city. Okay. Ooh, me goodness. Oh, he they they dead. Oh, I'm running out of ammo. I need to. I need to find some this ammo. Has eh, that works for now. Personnel, please be advised. Okay, I need the cultist key, which is that fucking. <gasps> Stop it. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, yeah, that would. That's probably a good idea. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, my copy of this just came in the mail last night. Cool. Did you get a chance to play it at all? Oh, God, no. Okay, hang on. Okay, he's incapacitated. Did you get a chance to play it at all? And if you did, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Because, like, this is easily game of the year for me so far, and it's probably going to... I'm gonna wait till I beat 2016 first. You know what? That's a smart move. One that I definitely have not taken in the past because I've played sequels before I played their original games. 
Ooh, good. Ooh. A pop. Pop, pop. Okay, he's taken care of. I got tons of health. Get down here, you big fucking lard. Excuse me, sir. Just eat that shit. Good. Okay. Okay, where am I going now? Okay, but you're doing the smart thing. Oh, I can't get back out there. Fuck. Um. No, but you're doing the smart thing. You're playing the first game first. I definitely have not always done that. <laughs> There have definitely been points where I played a sequel before the original game, for whatever reason. Okay. Yeah. Die. <laughs> oh, I got a challenge done. Ammo, you say? <laughs> that shit is immensely sad. Wait, you already don't have a... Did I? Well, hang on. Because I'm like, did I already bust the thing off of his head? I feel like I haven't. Oh, shit. Hang on. Okay, I will get to your question in a second once all these guys stop coming at me. Are there more? Oh, there's this guy. Okay, so, Q&A. What are your standards or requirements for Game of the Year? For me, Game of the Year boils down to what game I had the most fun playing in whatever year it was released. Um, also, what contributes towards Game of the Year for me is how much of an impact it had on me. So, <laughs> good example from last year, DMC5. Um, it was easily the most fun I had playing a game that entire year, and it also had a resounding impact on me, as I'm sure <laughs> plenty of you are aware. So yeah, those are my main requirements for something to be my game of the year, is it has to be the game I've had the most fun with, and the one that had the biggest impact on me personally. A game that was A, very fun, B, very well made, and C, made an impact or got a lot of attention in the gaming community. So those are your requirements for Game of the Year. I'm surprised that you're not like the one, the game that had the most impact on me per personally, or like all the gaming community as a whole. Because like, Game of the Year is something that changes on a person-to-person -person basis. Okay, now that you're back, um, what are you, yes I did. Um, what are your requirements for something to be your game of the year? There you go. There's the, there is the bog standard requirements. Basically, it just... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I basically just said what game I had the most fun playing in the year and what game had the biggest impact on me personally. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really... Wow, okay. Alright there, bud. Yeah, I wouldn't... Yeah, I wouldn't really consider the one that had the biggest impact on the community as a whole for my personal game of the year. It would be the one that had the biggest impact I'm on me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot I had the plasma rifle. Hi, friends. Hi, friends. You're all dead. Um. Man, what is the worst game that's come out so far this year? I don't know. I don't think I'm in 
Yeah, not really. Like, the only games I played this year are... And say nothing. Kakarot. <laughs> uh, Ori, Doom, and I played a little bit of Bleeding Edge yesterday, which I plan to play more of. And those are the only games I played this year so far. I had fun with it. It's based... Okay. Basically, the... What you think of the concept will basically determine your opinion on the game, but it's basically Overwatch if it was focused on melee combat. So however you feel about that concept is what your opinion on that game is basically going to be. Okay, but like, so... Oh. Just like, generally speaking, last year I made Goose Game my game of the Then why didn't you? It was the game that you had a lot of fun with. I mean, there really haven't been any bad big games this year. At least, not yet. <laughs> I still enjoyed Kakarot for what it was, even though there were a lot of things that really disappointed me about it. Shut the hell up. Can you... Please stop talking. <laughs> but what I do that? Listen. Here, eat that. I'm still low health. What the hell? Yeah, they're fucking bullshit. Punch that dude in the face. Oh god damn it. There we go. Excuse me. I'm gonna monkey bar the fuck out of here. It's a re release technically. And technically came out last year because it came out in October in Japan originally. I'm just saying, my dude. Also, I think I've had years of like That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> At least you're not as bad as my friend who gave Game of the Year to a demo. <laughs> Alex. He played, he played the Octopath demo in 2018, before the game came out. Or was it 2017 when that came out? Yeah, and he said, yeah, that's my game of the year because I haven't really played anything else. And I'm like, that's just wrong. <laughs> Octopath was 2018, but the demo came out in 2017. You played, like, you... The only DMC5 you played was the two hours we played for stream that one time. Yeah. But it's still the best game that came out in 2019. <laughs> still the best game that came out last year. But then again, I'm horribly... I fucked that up. <laughs> yeah. Which was DMC5, Fight Me Cowards. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, everyone that isn't me. It wasn't even the best Capcom game that came out last year. Oh, okay. li oh, okay. Listen here, Mr. Resi 2. <laughs> you know what? Okay. For my criteria, games like that, I would con I would consider a contender for I Game mean, of the Year. Because, a, like, really yeah, it's from the ground up. It's not, like... They upped the resolution and just released the old PS1 game on like PS4 or it something. Like okay. okay, what the fuck are you doing? Shane is a DMC simp. Ooh. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're... Okay, what the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to get up. I'm trying to get up there. Resi 2 did so much differently, it's basically a whole new game compared to the original, yeah, so I think it's fine. Yeah, I literally just said that. <laughs> Why are you such a bitch? Oh, this is what this is what I'm doing. Okay. 
I found my way. Uh, just today. I will start any argument you want to get into. Form glory kills faster, launch to a glory kill far away, get a speed boost. I don't need that. Survive a death, death blow death and briefly. Do. Yeah, that's probably. But no, so things like. Things like the. Oh, yeah. You played the demo. Uh. Am I supposed to be- hold on. Yeah. No, the thing- and that's my criteria, like, things like the Crash and Sane trilogy, the Spiral Reignited trilogy, those are, like, from the ground up remakes, so... Those were on my Game of the Year list for those respective years, because... They're not just the original games that they fucking upscaled and then re-released. Like, they completely redid them. Oh god, these things. <sighs> fucking die, snake men. Fucking die! Excuse me, sir, I need your precious ammo. I saw the arms thing. If it's Twintel, I'm all for it. But, like, we were theorizing when that... Oh, stop. We were theorizing when that... Okay, I died. So, like, okay. So, if Spring Man. That means that... <laughs> now, see, if it's Spring Man and the concept of, uh... Assist trophies being actual characters becomes true, then that means Ryan. Isaac finally has a chance. Your your one rep will finally be, have his time to shine. Woo, Isaac. Come here, come here. Oh, I'm gonna die. What the hell? Excuse me, sir, I need your presser's health juices. I hate the wormies. I hate these things so much. Excuse me. I need your I need your precious health but juice. Is it yes. Oh, I have no. F Wait, I do. There we go. Thank you. Um. But yeah, we were theorizing that since it's an arms character, it's either. My guess is that it's going to be Springman, but all of his alts are going to be the other uh, arms characters. Character, yeah. yeah. Or it's going to be. It might be Twintel, or it could be Ribbon Girl. The other one I could see is Ribbon Girl. I just hope we don't get both Rex and a Gen 8 Pokemon. I would honestly kind of hate having half the past be devoted to such recent Nintendo characters. Yeah, especially at the price point. Yeah, because, the, because it's more than five characters, so it's more expensive than the first pass. I want the cool surprise third-party characters. I want more of those. I think that it would be Min Min. She won most popular character for ARMS. Huh. Excuse me, sirs. But yeah, I'm okay with an ARMS character because I honestly thought that they should have put Spring Man in the game from the beginning. Like, that just made Wait, sense. You played ARMS? ARMS is a fun time. ARMS is good, even like, though it doesn't have, like, any, like, meaningful support behind it. No, but it was, it was a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like, fucking dunked your ass. It was, it was fun as hell. It was actually pretty Excuse me. Yeah, it just sucks that it didn't get the support that it needed. Like, Splatoon got it. Yeah, and, like, who the fuck plays Splatoon anymore? Not a lot of people, actually. Like, out of the two newer Nintendo franchises, Splatoon is definitely the one that's lasted longer. Also, I've decided I don't really care about getting all the secrets right now. I'm just going to play the game. And we're, we're just going to have fun. But, like, listen. I never... I never agreed to anything. This is how you're trying to, like, 
take advantage. I love how I just got... Fuck. Oh, never mind. Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart. You are definitely right about that. There was nothing else on... Yeah. Other than one, two, switch. It never got the support it really needed to be a long-lasting game. It could have been the next Splatoon if it had been uh, marketed properly and supported well enough, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Dunking on you in basketball is one of my proudest gaming achievements. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, but let's pick fucking Mario Odyssey. It's still the best game on Switch other than Smash. I don't care about all you Breath of the Wild stands. I don't care about all you Breath of the Wild stands. I don't fucking agree with you bullshit. True. Ar yeah, Splatoon definitely had a lot more going for it conceptually. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, I was surprised by your Doom for Game of the Year because I personally would rate games more based on quality than anything else. But but this game is quality. Like, it is easily the highest quality game I've played so far this year. Only... The only thing second to this is Ori. The only thing that's coming close to beating Doom right now is Ori. Yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah. Like... Yeah. You have done that before, absolutely. Yeah. To me, it all comes down to what was the funnest to play. <laughs> stop, stop saying Kakarot is bad. <laughs> You're gonna piss the wrong person off. Okay, are we? Oh god, there's still a fucking Medusa man. Excuse me, sir. Are we done yet? Oh, thank god. That felt like it went on forever. But yeah, you know what? Um, Look up a list of games that are coming out for the rest of the year. So we so we know what's coming out. Because I know... Yeah, you. Because um, the true game of the year comes out tomorrow. Uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 4... Duh. <laughs> I mean, it's a Warriors game, so however you feel about Warriors games is how you feel about that. That guy just fucking My game of the year is definitely going to AO Tennis 2. Just saying. Ooh, AO Tennis. Okay, am I looking at what's coming up with this? It's April. Resident Evil 3rd August. Got it. I would knock it down a punch because... No, it's I know. It's I K, not if. Here, I'll read. Don't read. You can't read from far away. I would knock it down a bunch because it doesn't really have a story or this astounding soundtrack, and I know that's not the only requirements for a good game, but it would have to be very revolutionary to be my game of the year without stuff like that. Eh. <laughs> like, I, I really just only care about whether or not it's fun. I don't really care if it's revolutionary. Uh, Resi 3, FF7, Last of Us 2, Ghost of Tsushima, Trials of Mana. Those are the big ones I can think of. Well, yeah, you have the list, right? Okay. I think those are the only big ones. On Switch. On Switch. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Gear Tactics comes out at the end of April. That's also coming to Switch, so the the support between uh, Nintendo and Microsoft continues. Oh wait, I can just yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I can't wait. Yeah, but Cyberpunk is until September, and who knows if it'll get delayed again. Have they? Have they come out and said it's not getting delayed anymore? Oh yeah, and we have all those release dates from the Direct today, so uh, Xenoblade Remaster comes out on the 29th of May. Birthday present to me. <laughs> The priests have kept it hidden from you yeah, in this remote location. Marvel's Avengers is coming out in September. Woo. Uh, I, don't I don't really care, to be real. Oh my god! Uh, and then Who's Your Daddy is coming out <gasps> on December 23rd. That's oh the only shit. Other, like, Merry Christmas. There's some unscheduled releases, but there's some amnesia games. A new amnesia game? Yeah. What the heck? Oh, it's my super shoddy! Bravely Default 2 comes out. No, we did not. No, we just got a release window. It was just, yo, 2020, I guess. Okay, I know it's cute balls. Um, Attention. All mortally challenged personnel. The bitch. <laughs> the slayer is inside the facility. Yeah, I am. That was supposed to have already come out, but then they delayed it. No, know, because they delayed all their games for quality control. Hey, yeah, we'll see. At this well, point, did it leak? <laughs> okay, all right there, all right there, bud. Oh yeah! Um, you wanted to play Little Nightmares. Oh, that's like, that's going to be, that's going to be my game of the year. The only game that can come close to beating Doom is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Anyway. Yeah, that's supposed to be coming out this year. It already came out on Apple Arcade, like, late last year. But it's gonna come out on actual consoles this year. Oh, Rehydrated, which I would consider putting on my Game of the Year list, because it is from ground up. <laughs> that was... Can we talk about that? Cause Did you have to pause? Just so it was It was supposed to come out last April, and then they were like, we're going to delay it maybe a month or two so that we can just like polish it up. Still hasn't come out. They were like, we're going to delay it not too far from release. Here is a really... A year later. Here's a really relevant thing that's supposed to be coming out. Uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Quarantine. <laughs> oh. It's supposed to be coming out. Wouldn't be surprised if they delayed it. <laughs> um, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is supposed to be coming out this year. Which yeah. Which I'm kind of looking forward to. Did you ever play the first one? Yes. I have played Masquerade. It was really good. Was it, though? Or was it good in the sense that it was shitty but still enjoyable? It was one of those games that kind of like a Fallout, like the original Fallout situation. Like, it was good if you liked that kind of game. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion was supposed to come out a couple weeks ago, but then they delayed it. It's supposed to come out at the end of the year now. Um, we got the release date for the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 release. Yeah, May 29th. I'm looking forward to that one. And there's a Yakuza game that's supposed to be coming out. Oh yeah, Yakuza 7. Yep. Hello, friend. Oh, and that 13. What, what, what do you mean? You what 13? Like no, I don't. Oh no, never mind. This is the wrong game that I was thinking. <laughs> ah, she touches me. <laughs> Hi, mother. Ugh. So, I mean, there's quite a few games that are coming out this year. Yeah. Why are you doing that? Psychonauts 2 that feels weird. is coming out. That's gonna come out when I fucking die, dude. That's gonna... <laughs> what? Whoa. Oh. Yeah, is it? 
kind of hard to believe. Oh, oh, I was too, ah, uh, too slow. Damn. Digimon Try Adventure something or other. Oh yeah, I think in August. Yeah. Maybe. Supposedly. That's never gonna come out. <laughs> yeah. Boyfriend dungeon. Oh shit. Yeah, I've been meaning to play the first one. Oh, this is the one I was thinking of. 12 minutes. <laughs> oh, that yeah, one looked like, really cool. Like you're, you're constantly In a time loop? Like yeah. I wanted to play that. I wanted to play that too. So there's a lot of things that are supposed to be Whether or not they do because of, you know, our good old friend COVID-19. If that even is your real name. Then where did coronavirus come from? Shit. But what is a coronavirus? Wow, thanks for the information. I don't have knowledge. You know how dumb I am. Get educated. <laughs> Get educated. So, what's going on here? I'm platform. Yeah, too much for the old brain to process there. Oh wait. I mean, there's like quite a shit. Yeah, it's hard to tell whether or not they'll actually come out. Yeah, thanks for that good old mini direct. Yeah. We surprisingly don't have a whole lot of info on games coming out this year for the most part. Own little bullshit. Yeah, they said they're gonna have a digital event. That's gonna be like, yo, here are games! Yeah, what's up? I feel like E3, I feel like E3, especially in recent years, has definitely become a little more irrelevant than it has been, especially the physical, like, venue E3. I definitely, I definitely agree with you. I feel like, especially over the last few years, it's definitely been progressing to more of a digital-only kind of thing, where they just have digital conferences or whatever. And I feel like the whole corona cancellation was just the catalyst for that. Yeah. Game of the Year Minecraft Nether update. When are we getting that? Uh, when is that coming? Is it out? Um, she's Minecraft. she's the Minecraft master, so she'll have a date, maybe. But when are we actually when are we getting that like 4K update? It's never happening. Um, when the Series X comes out and they give it ray tracing, basically at this point. I don't understand why they use Minecraft of all games to sample the ray tracing, <laughs> but it's it's just a, it's a little weird. Oh fuck! Um, I don't believe a date. I don't believe a date was announced yet, as far as I know, but sometime this summer. And then Dungeons comes out in April, which is the Diablo-esque a dungeon crawler spinoff. It it looked fun. I'll definitely play it because it's on Game Pass. Shut the heck up. I have more friends than you do. But we could play it local. It would be fun. It would be fun. We, we could, we could even stream it whenever it comes out, maybe. I guarantee you I'm going to shit out of it. 
Oh shit, here we go. Okay. Are you ready for the cool shit? Yeah. So they're like So they're like, oh I gotta get my fucking I gotta get my fucking super shotgun, but it's surrounded by demons. Well, guess what? Why well, also worried about game of the year when we're only on three <laughs> month three out of twelve? Yeah, with how things have been going lately. Torture chamber, torture chamber. Close, but no cigar. In fact, I am now controlling a demon. I don't think you were here for this part when I played it first time. Yeah, I'm controlling a revenant now. Playing as a revenant. Hold left trigger to use your jetpack. Press B to activate your afterburner to dodge. Press right trigger for twin rockets. And press left bumper to launch a rocket barrage. So, ba bam. Baboosh. Babushka. Also, if this year is anything like last year, Doom is going to end up being my game of the year, which yeah, it came out in March, so. Yeah, I, I guarantee you it's going to be second year in a row that my game of the year came out in March, so. Not really. Oh. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> he dies. A lot of shits. <laughs> Die, bitch. Die. I mean, that was very much modeled after an Iron Maiden. Oh yeah, the 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 coffin. But we're not torturing him. We're controlling him. I mean, I, spoilers. I will kill him once we're done. Excuse me, sir. Death, doom, and destruction. Get it, doom? <laughs> huh. No, I'm not real. I'm not really. Okay, I'm gonna go get that super shoddy. Thank you. All right, on to my spiny death. Did we? Yeah. No, we're not dropping frames. It's just that I think. OBS can't handle the graphical fidelity of this game, so it's a little it's a little chuggy. It's a little chuggy. But we're not We're not actually dropping frames though. It's just OBS is uh not the best. Yeah, check this out. But he was so nice to you. Do you think I care? I'm the Doom Slayer. This is the This is the this is the same guy who... Oh, that was supposed to teach me how to use the meat hook, but I didn't do that. Um, keep in mind, this is also the same guy who, when the Hell Priest was having his fucking villain monologue, he just fucking chopped his head off in the middle of a sentence. How to use the meat hook? Because, okay... So, okay, the thing with this game is that with the super shotgun, they give you this meat hook attachment, which is basically a grappling hook. Unlike all the other weapons in the game, where when you get weapon upgrade points, you can unlock mods that give you different shit to use, you can't get a mod for this game. Apparently, you just have it from the beginning, and they don't teach you how to use it. Uh, me, only now connecting the dots about why Iron Maiden is a badass metal band name. Iron Man. Iron Maiden is also my favorite band, so... Any character who interrupts the monologue is immediately great. Uh, where am I? Okay. Who's in here? Oh, God. All the bad ones. <laughs> all the bad ones. Demons. Here, take that shit. Okay, he's dead. Thank God. Excuse me. He's dead. He has died by the shit. He died by. Oh. He died by. Oh. Oh. Okay, hang on. There, now he's neutered. Now we don't have to worry about him. He basically is. Here, eat your own fucking stomach core or whatever. Mmm, tasty. 
Okay, which ones do I have left? This one? Oh, it's just you again! Fucking, it's me again! Oh, excuse me, sirs. Hang on. There we go. Give me that cheeks. Give me that booty cheeks. I love that. It's so fun. Like, check this out. Whoa. Shit. Huh. That's just fun. Have you run into any Marauders yet during stream? No, and thankfully, we won't get to that Attention. point. <laughs> All cultist base personnel, please destroy the Slayer. The priest yeah, because they don't, they don't show up until Mission 6, I believe, and we're only going to get to, like, maybe Mission 5 if we're lucky today. Because these missions are very long. You were on Mission 2. Yeah. They're heckin' long. This this game's long. It's like 15 hours for the main campaign. Which, just like when DMC5 came out last year, let's have your reviewer bingo cards ready. Is 15 hours too short for a single-player campaign? The answer is no, and people are stupid. <laughs> Remember the fucking... Bring out the bingo card. Oh, you're just fucking... Okay. I see you're, you're giving yourself a mani petty. Uh, is there anything that prevents you from solely using chainsaw melee attacks? Melee attacks without blood punch do no damage, and the chainsaw runs on fuel. So. Yeah. You're not incentivized to spam them, because you can't. Um, I have to go over here, but I need to find a way in there. Oh, it's down here. I did play the first level of 2016, and I was surprised at how fast your health drops. I never died, but I definitely hit low health a good few times. Yeah. It is relentless. <laughs> the newer Dooms are surprisingly, well, even, even the older Dooms, I would argue, are surprisingly about resource management. Because ammo, especially in this one, is a lot more scarce than it used to be in 2016. So, you definitely have to be more mindful about how you use your ammo. Damn, a melee would run... A melee only run would be cool, though. It's unfortunate that without the blood punch, the melee does nothing. Yeah, your melee is absolutely... Ah, cr Oh. Hello, friend. Oh, I can't get up there. Yeah, without the blood punch, it's absolutely dog shit. And you I mean, can't just keep... It knocks them back if you really need to, like, put space between you and... It's basically... It's basically without the blood punch, just like a, a get off me move, yeah. But it doesn't really do any damage. I mean, like, I run out of ammo a lot. And have to, like. But that's the good thing about having, like, a little bit of reserve fuel in your um, chainsaw. chainsaw. Is that, like, if you run out of ammo, ammo and then you chainsaw someone, you get um, quite a bit of ammo back after. Yeah, in level one, I kept switching to my pistol a lot in order to preserve shotgun ammo. Thankfully, the shot, the pistol isn't a thing in this game, which is a good thing because no one ever uses it in 2016 unless you have no ammo for the rest of your guns. I just like watching up close shots of ripping them apart, crushing their skulls, and chainsawing them, etc. You like the gore? I can get behind that. <laughs> oh God, I fell. Well. Oh god. Didn't realize that that wasn't what it was called. Okay, I made it. Now, where's my 1 up? Thank you. I have 6 1 ups? Holy crap. I'm zooming along, man. Oh, wait. I knew it. Tentacle man. Yeah, so you get you your um your chainsaw recharges one fuel every minute, I believe, but other than that, you have to find fuel in the actual environment. So you can't just keep spamming it. Yeah, 
And so, like, I'm low on ammo, but my chainsaw hadn't recharged yet, so I couldn't... I couldn't chainsaw that guy, even though I wanted to. Excuse me. Yeah, there's balance. Ooh, hello, sir. Not a secret. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That's what I like about this game, though, is that even on easy, it's still like a challenge. A pushover on any difficulty. Yeah. And I found a secret. Ooh. Into Sandy... Into Sandy City. Is what it was called. Oh, yeah. Let's stay over here. Bring out my thing. Pop, pop. And up we go. Yeah, I... Pop, 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 plow. Goodbye. <laughs> You're all dead. Oh my god, so many blood. So many bloods. Oh my thing. There we go. Don't you hate it when your computer just makes a clicking noise for seemingly no reason? Don't you hate that? I know you can relate, all of you. PC fucking douchebag. Oh, I understand. I understand what I have to do. I remember this. A plap. And whoop! Oh shit! There we go. If Doom Guy ever fights John Wick, the whole world is fucked. Are you growing tired? I can agree with that. We will break your will. Imagine if they make a new Doom movie and they have Doom Guy played by Keanu Reeves. Did I get I did get the cultist key. But I need to go this way. My god, you're right. Alright, let's see what's in here. Grip shit. No. Okay, wait, guys, I have a movie pitch. Okay, let's hear it. Uh, honestly, I could see Doom Guy being played by Batista. <laughs> RuneScape. Oh boy, Josh is here. Great. Okay, so what's this What's this movie pitch of yours? Are there still demons? Just woke up. Suicide Squad, but it's Doom Guy, Master Chief, John Wick. Anyone else? Marcus Phoenix. Um, Jotaro Kujo. All the big neck, All the big neck men. Yeah, okay. With big, burly necks. Die, please. Excuse me. Yeah. yeah, so that direct, yeah, it was a thing, alright. It just kinda happened. Oh, people were asking for it, and then they're like, alright, here it is, and it was just okay. I mean, like, nobody asked for that. Oh, there's. It was just kind of whatever, it was fine. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it gave me a release date for Xenoblade Definitive, so I'm happy about that. Next Smash character, Arms Man. Which should have been. Should have been in the game from the beginning, but, you know, I'm not gonna question Nintendo. Because apparently Sakurai doesn't have any control over what characters make it in. That's all Nintendo's decision. So there are characters that Sakurai would love to put in the game, but he needs to get approval from Nintendo first. Which is unfortunate. Nintendo needs to get educated. <laughs> Wowies. I'm just hoping we get someone good for next character, hoping for Dante. Yeah. You that's that's the dream, isn't it? <laughs> 
whether or not it actually happens at this point. I mean, we got arms, so it's probably we got arms. fucking Nintendo characters. Oh, we got arms, man. Oopsie. No, I think this is the way I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, I want me my Dante that I was denied last last character pack with Byleth. Which, granted, Byleth is a fun character and I enjoy him slash her quite a bit, but... Dante. <laughs> okay, where's the Slayer Gate? It's over here. I wanted to see a Western release of Mega Dimension Neptunia on Switch. Yeah, I keep dreaming, buddy. That's what I call a printer. Alright, you ready for the Slayer Gate? Yeah, I like Slayer Gate. I'm not. Oh god, immediately. Yeah, remember when you almost didn't make it through? It's already on the Switch, you know. Yeah, but will it be fucking localized? Who knows? Damn! Damn, stop! Excuse me, I, I have like five lives, so who cares? Excuse me, stop that. If Dante got on, what version of him would you think be his base? I think three. Um... Probably, I think that's the most iconic uh, Dante design is DMC3, and I could see his alts being like DMC4 or 5. <laughs> make, make his alt would just be Nero. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm dropped down here, boys. <laughs> yeah, they're they're supposed to be tough. They're like the biggest challenges that you get in this game, other than the master challenges. Oh god, there's there's so many of them. Yeah. And I'm low ammo too, apparently. Excuse me, sir. No, one of his ult one of his ults would be Dante. Or Dino. Either or. However you want to call him. <laughs> but he is the But yeah, um, his base would probably be three, and he would have, like, maybe three different color variants of that, and then his two alts would be... No. His two alts would be DMC4 with one color swap, and then DMC5 with one color swap. That's that's how I could see that happening. And then if they want to be if they want to be ballsy and put a fucking Dino skin in, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Because the, re the reboot is a good game. It's just... Not as good as the rest of them. Excuse me, sirs. I need you to stop what you're doing. Yeah? Oh, fuck. Okay. And, uh, I need you to come. I'm gonna take this rocket launcher and get the fuck out of here. You know what, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I wasn't gonna make it in time. But I can make it for this one. Man, they are super weak to that. Yeah. Also, with the Direct, the ARMS character coming in June basically confirms the next real Direct will be what was supposed to be E3 Direct. Probably. Seeing as how they released this at the end of March, on the next one's obviously going to be whatever they have planned for E3, in air quotes. Because it's not technically... Yeah, because it's not technically um, E3 anymore. It's just, hey, this was supposed to be E3, but we're still showing off games. Well, I mean, they gotta keep those Yeah, you sure about that? I will start any kind of war you want. <laughs> All right. Okay, now what am I doing? Are you looking for secrets? No, I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. You're going through that wall. You have to punch the wall. No, I can't. 
I have to fucking... Oh, here we go. There we go. And then that opens. And then I punch the statue. And then that will break the wall. So yeah, you were wrong. Fuck you. Fuck you. And he goes, whoa! Whoa! Can I just say that we have been streaming for over an hour at this point, and we're still not done this mission? You keep pausing to pause. No, I don't. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Yeah, is that so? Well, I'm inside you now. <laughs> I'm inside you. I mean, hey, your buddy. Okay. Wait, yeah, you think so? So who's excited for Xenoblade? <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm actually, really care, I'm honestly. actually really excited for Xenoblade because I, I wanted to play the original, but it's been lost on the Wii for years, and that version isn't exactly great. <laughs> Because it looks and runs like ass. But seeing as how they're remastering it on the Xenoblade 2 engine actually looks pretty nice. And they're giving it um they're giving it epilogue uh, content too, which is nice. I mean I actually don't really mind how he looks. I actually kinda like his design. Yeah, that's so. Do you see how I'm ripping Andor here? I know. It's pretty great, right? What, you're not impressed? You're, what, you're dead? You wouldn't take me to the Red Lobster? Red Lobster, by the way, great restaurant. ODS? OBS! You are actually a dummy. Yeah, it really can't, right? Cause cause on on the right monitor on the actual game screen, it is a smooth buttery smooth 60 frames, and on the OBS screen, it is chugging something fierce. Which is weird because it, when I stream DMC5, which I would argue is a more graphically intensive game than this, it, it ran it just fine. It's very weird. That just gives me an excuse to praise DMC5 again. <laughs> Game of the Year 2020. Nothing that, nothing that comes out this year or next year will even come close. How? How tired do you think people are of me talking about DMC5? Oh. <laughs> Rip and tear, boys. I am not. I will have you know. Yeah? He does. Oh, you, st you stood on the guy I was going to kill. Thank you, good sir. I roar for God. I mean, he says rip and tear in the game, so like... I know. Oh, power up. I'm in overdrive now. Which means I'm just faster. I'm not, more, I'm not stronger, I'm just faster. Fucking die. Okay, I think we're good. But that direct did give us some cool shit. Like, uh, that good job cute indie game where you can be Chaos Incarnate. Um, Panzer Dragoon remake, Shadow Drop today. I was tempted to buy that. <laughs> I was very tempted. Between that and, um, that other game that I can't remember the name of right now. The Underwater Metroidvania that Capcom made. Sakai, blah, blah, blah. Sakai. Sakai. 
Seto Kaiba, Duelist Master. <laughs> and... I can't remember what it's called. And President of Kaiba Corporation. Yeah. He has three blue eyes white dragons. Instead of the customary. And don't forget it. Um, Shin Sakai Into the Depths. I was also tempted to buy that one. Because it looked very cool. Like an underwater Metroidvania sounds like a cool idea. But it was also like kind of a little realistic. Yeah. That's what we know Capcom for. Realism. Realism. Especially with all of that uh, on-disc DLC they had during the early 2010s. I did not purge all the demonic corruption. And I didn't finish any. No, I did. I got. I got one of those. Okay, cool. Oh, I got two of them. That's interesting. But I missed quite a few secrets because I wasn't exactly uh, concerned about that right now. Give me my XP. Oh yeah, or would it take us like twice as long? Either? Yeah. And the levels are already long enough as it is. So like, fuck me. Yeah. Alive. Put an F in the chat if you're still breathing. <laughs> oh, this is the boss level. Okay. Oh, it's the Doom Hunter. Oh, fucking god. Oh, damn. Fuck. Is this one that gave you trouble the first time? No. Are you sure? It's, the mar it's not as bad as the Marauder, but they're still annoying to fight. The Marauders are pretty bad. The Marauders, like. The only bad thing about this game is the Marauders. They're just terrible. Even after finding, like, the quick kill solution, they're still fucking terrible. I just noticed that your Doom Eternal thing is lives. Yeah. That's fine. Do you really care about how many extra lives I have? Look, I... Like, like look, I have three. <laughs> but yeah, but I can see it on this monitor, so... I also realized that I was supposed to be moving with the train. Yeah, I thought it was just taking me to wherever I was supposed to go, but apparently not. <laughs> we play video games for a living. Excuse me, sir. Every everyone's dead. Oh! <gasps> I definitely did ding dong die, didn't I? <laughs> okay, so no one put an F in chat, so either one of two things happened. Everyone's actually dead, or stream chat froze, like it did previously. Let me. Oh, F, F, they're alive! They're alive! Okay. <laughs> they're still breathing, whether or not they want to. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, good. You know that I'm alive. Okay. Are you? Is stable now, the outside, his guardian the is somewhere in the facility ahead. Oh, this is the part where it drives you to Yeah. But yeah, do you guys care how many extra lives uh, I have? Look, I have three. <laughs> three. Well, actually four, technically, because... Stop that. Yeah. Because no extra lives just means, oh, you're dead. Oh, you fucking died. Check this out. Oh! I need you to stop that. It's useless. Yeah. Close the... To close the, the gap, you know? Excuse me, sir. No! <laughs> I definitely was not. What's your personal favorite weapon in this game? Super shoddy. Easy. It's... It's... Outside of, like... Yeah. I didn't... But I didn't use the Unmaker. Is the... The bad... Yeah. It's basically just a BFG uh, assault rifle. It's cool. Um, micro missiles. 
micro missiles. Ooh. Yeah, but outside of like the super weapons, outside of the super weapons, it's easily the 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 most powerful one. It's got the meat hook, so you can it gives you more traversal options, and it's like yeah. it's just fun to use, man. Okay, I see stuff over here, so I'm going for it. There we go. I got a soup point. I do need to use my weapon points too, though. So arsenal. Yeah. General improvements to super shotgun. Uh, meat hook recharge time decreased by 25%. Hell yes. Pizza token acquired. Um, super shotgun reload speed in increased by 33%. Hell yes. <laughs> and then you can have a flaming hook? That's really cool. And then I have this bypass the master challenge to unlock this, which is flaming hook. Uh, the meat hook will set enemies on fire for a short time, causing them to drop armor from a super shotgun blast. Ooh. Interesting. <sighs> oh, you can upgrade the super shotgun. I think you can't do that in 2016, right? Other than... I don't think you can, if I remember correctly. But no, then again, I, I probably don't. On it, can't yeah. I don't... I actually, don't I don't know. Like, like, Reveals, reveals the position of all progression items. That was the one I was thinking of. What? No, I want to see which one it is so I know which one to buy. When um, it is this one. That one, item finder. Okay. I need to know so I can do this. Immune one. to damage from barrel explosions. I need that. It's actually very useful. Okay. Um, let's keep going, I guess. Yes. In fact, it is. Thank you for that one up. Stop and play more Doom. Doom fun. Rip and tear. Oh god, the pinkies. Oh no, 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 the pinkies. Okay, where you are, pinky. There we go. Yeah, you just get you just get behind them because the tail is the weak spot. So if you get a good shot on it, it's like a one hit kill. Which is exactly what I wanted. That is so much fun. Also, for anyone who is like me playing this game confused about how to use the meat hook on the super shot, you have it automatically. You just press your left trigger or your L2 button. Yeah. It really was, wasn't it? Yep. Because I'm a dummy. Excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Mom, low ammo. I need... Thank you. Sir. Never mind. I need to let my chainsaw recharge. <laughs> There we go. Good. Shut up. Oh, I thought you were making fun of me. Like you always do. Don't make fun of me. I swear to God, I will rip and tear you. I love pizza tokens. I really do. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mr. Man. This is more effective against you. Hey, fuck off. Slayer Gate. Yeah, they're really weak to Plasma Rifle. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider Tank. Uh, give me one second. Where are you? You basically hate all the enemies in the game. There he is. 
They're giving me the fucking gummies. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's because you can't aim, so you can't get rid of their fucking head cannon easily. He exploded. It makes them less annoying. Doom 2024, they have a segment where Doom Guy pilots a Metal Gear like a mech to destroy enemies. Okay. Well, that's what we thought the end of this game was gonna be. We didn't. Yeah, we didn't get the kaiju battle that we thought we were going to get. EVA 2024. <laughs> Come here. That's a new one. I haven't seen that before. Okay, I win. Okay, watch out, all you players. I win. I win. I mean, it was still pretty badass to see Tiny Little Doom Guy take down this giant kaiju demon. Kaiju fight? I definitely agree. Yeah, we thought for sure that he was gonna like hop in that thing to pilot it to take down like the final boss, but no, he didn't. It was a it was a David versus Goliath battle. It was not easy to fight an opponent. Do we ever? Do you think we'll even get a third team like this? Yeah, they're not really doing much else. So I don't I don't doubt that we will get a third game, but I feel like weird how someone who has even some. Weird how, as someone who has seen Ava at some point, I the only thing I know is that they get inside mechs. Yes? That's all I'm gonna say. Because <laughs> the rest of it is very depressing. depressing. But I feel like if they do a third Doom game in this style, they... A, there has to be a kaiju fight, and B, they have to change it up a bit. Because I think after this game, if they just do another one like this, the formula is going to get really stale. Where? Oh, yeah, it's already selling like hotcakes. Um, so where the fuck? Oh, that way. I was like, where the fuck do I go? <laughs> no, but the, there's already a report that came out and said that this game, like, broke sales records for the entire franchise. Yeah. Fuck I didn't have a dash. <laughs> oh no, and that one's dropping too, because I fucking I, I dinked it with my dumb face. No, I think we'll definitely get a third one. We might not get a third Yeah. I think after three it's definitely gonna I think after three it's definitely gonna outlive its welcome. These games are fun as shit, but I feel like knowing how the game industry and critics and fans operate like said, after to after this one like if they don't do something to really change up the formula and re reinvent it again like the 2016 one did then people are going to complain Todd Howard, Todd, Howard. Todd Howard doesn't work for its software stop biting me like fuck off Eat an entire asshole. They have a really powerful point. Yeah. All the time because you, you're not good. Excuse me, sir. Um, please come this way. And now he's and now he's dead. Shane just called me an elitist critic. <laughs> not particularly. 
I'm just saying, like, after this game, if they don't do something to make it different from the other two, people will complain, because that's just how critics work. Like, they're like, yeah, the, the novelty was great in the first one, and then some of the novelty was lost in Doom Eternal, but it was still a great game. Now that we're three games in, they're still doing the same thing. Like, wh what's even the point? <laughs> Outlaw them immediately. That's just, I just know how game critics operate, and that's exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah, because we don't want to pay for another game that's just the same game, but in HD. That's basically how yeah, Call of Duty's been operating for years. Yeah, people, still buy people still buy it, but not as many as uh, they used to, so that's good. That's at, that's at least a good change. <laughs> Critics only complain for certain series. Pokemon's been doing the same thing with barely any meaningful changes, and they still praise those games. You know, you're right. They are very, um, selective with their criticism. I get 24 hours to do my final exam. Yeah, a lot of the online exams are like that. They'll be like, okay, it opens this day on, like, 10 a.m., and it's not due until midnight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually pretty common for online exams, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I understand. Well, there was that one midterm you had that was like four days. Yeah, the midterm, but like... Like, I understand... For the finals, they have to adhere to the actual final exam schedule. Because they're going to lock down, like, blackboard and the systems, and they're not going to get to break the final. And I understand why you would be surprised, because you haven't done anything like this before. But yeah, that's pretty common for online exams, actually. Yeah, especially the one for um, the midterm for the class I'm GAing for, they only had like 90 minutes, yeah. so it was only just the the class to time to do it. Time. You had to log in at 8:30 because that's when it started, and you had to have it up submitted by 10, and that shit. All my other profs gives us exactly three hours, but technically four to submit, I believe at least. Yeah, because they're trying to adhere to, like, that final exam schedule. Yeah. I'll take that. Some of them are four days. <laughs> Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going. I'm going for it. But also, Pokemon does technically offer new things to enjoy, and when it was shit, see, short and sealed shitstorm, they did get criticized to hell and back. Yeah, but people, the, people still, fans, yeah, the by the fans, the critics still ate that shit up. I mean. Yeah, not really, was it? Are you of the opinion? I really liked the, uh, and even then, a ton of fans still drank the Kool-Aid. Oh yeah, for sure they did. Are you of the opinion? Because I'm of the opinion that Let's Go actually looked better than Sword and Shield. I enjoyed Let's Go. Um, Yeah, the Dynamax battles. Fuck. Oh, I'm... Wow, I'm running dry on my ammo. Also, my prop ended his email with, No worry at all, I support you. I cry. That's sweet. 
Uh, Sword and Shield was a bit, much bigger disappointment because it had so much more to live up to and was basically a letdown on every front. Let's Go was only a spinoff. Yeah, so the Let's Go was definitely not as um, criticized as Sword and Shield well, because it, it didn't have as much to live up to. It definitely was in the community. People, like, criticized the shit out of, like, Focus Arrow. You can't even fight me. You can't even fight me. I'm going for it. There's stuff I really, really like about Sword and Shield that I thought it did for Like, for what was supposed to be. The next generation Pokemon. Yeah. I can see how it would be. Other than my Pokemon Q, I, I tickle its whittle nose. Excuse me. Stop that. There we go. Okay, Revan is dead. Um, Big Bertha over here isn't dead yet. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me ask you a question, mate. No, I was- I meant this guy. Oh, he just exploded. He just over the fact that it wasn't a different Pokemon game, it was just Pokemon game, but Right. It's just Pokemon. Pokemon has always had Pokemon has always had good ideas on paper, but it never develops those ideas. Exactly. Like if you if you like the general like Pokemon style. The general Pokemon formula, it did not differ much from that. No, it's just Pokemon. So if you like Pokemon, you can enjoy it as just Pokemon. Yeah. But for something that was supposed to be touted as like next the next Pokemon. evolution of yeah, Pokemon, it, it didn't live up to it. Frankly, I don't care about Pokemon, so I didn't give a shit. <laughs> as a game. Just enjoy games as games. Games are meant to be fun. Don't look too far into it. <laughs> Which is all the time. <laughs> unless games are... Unless it's a game, something like The Last of Us, that's meant to be more so of a cinematic experience than an actual video game. Or like Heavy Rain... Um, and then he didn't the story and character writing ever been great in a Pokemon game? Tell me. But there were, Tell me why. But there were things the game just did... Uh, you didn't even read the comments, so I'm no, like, what? I don't even care. Um, but there were things the game just did objectively terrible, like the story and character writing blows in that game. But, like, it's Pokemon. What do you expect? Like, it's never been, like, super deep with its characterization. Yeah, Pokemon definitely is not something that should be taken seriously from a story perspective. Yeah, Hop. Hop sucks. Hop blows. Hop fucking blows, dude. See... <laughs> See, I agree with Nanaka. I like Pokemon because Pokemon cute, and I love Pokemon. Ah, exactly. uh, but then, where am I going? Oh, over yeah, here. See, I didn't play black and white. I've only played, like, yeah, and then Ryan, and then Ryan follows up with, but Pokemon has proven it can tell good stories. See, black and white one. But is, okay. never played it. Don't care. Okay, but it, objectively speaking, yeah, is that why people play Pokemon? I don't really do think play, so. Does everybody play Pokemon for the stories? Because I play Pokemon. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I definitely don't. I definitely am not interested in Pokemon for the story whatsoever. No, I'm. Like, I'm asking. Like, do do you guys play Pokemon for the story? I want to know. Start a Twitter poll. <laughs> I want to know because this is like revolutionary to me because I don't play them for the story. Yeah, like, I definitely. Basically, yeah. And it's just the exact same thing I don't play it for the story, but I argue there is also the difference between having a small, unimportant story like the previous games and having an actively bad one like Sword Shield does. But, I didn't think it was act like, but see, here's the thing. Yeah. 
Shane, how would you feel about a crack stream or a video where I get you to play nostalgic browser games? I've actually thought about that, not gonna lie. Like, just like, we've done that before, because the chill streams that we did in 2018 were just, we did stupid shit, and one of them ended with, um, beauty makeup fashion simulator. So, I would totally be down for that. You just hooked me, you hooked me up with the, the, the games, and I will totally do that at some point. But yeah, here's the thing. <laughs> Claiming that Sword and Shield has a bad story to us doesn't mean anything because we don't really know what a good story in Pokemon is because we don't focus on that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, what were you getting at then? That's what I was getting at. exact same thing. So it's hard to differentiate what's good and bad when they're all basically the same to you. Hop! Can't stand Hop. I want to know what his deal is. Okay, game one. Minion pregnant. I'm already regretting this. Stream cancelled by Shane. Uh, Elsa brain surgery. That's, yeah, it's, uh, it's something, all right. I don't understand what people's fetish is over the Elsa Flash games, but, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't judge people. Uh, she has a brain freeze. Nah, just kidding, we're still playing. Uh... Ah, uh, what? So anyway, video games, am I right? Somewhere, somebody's taking over the ball. In the chat. <laughs> in the chat. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan is, ar Ryan is arguing his philosophy on the po narrative of Pokemon games. Better. Right. Oh, there he is. Okay, let's see. Honestly, honestly, I would say just watch my vlog review. <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, but I would say a major thing is with the characters. In previous games, they were just simple and forgettable, where in Sword and Shield, I found the character writing was distractingly bad. Okay. But how, do, how does simple character writing compare to bad character writing for you? What defines it as no, bad to you? Oh. He said there were simple Yeah, but how does that... But how does... So to you, they're more distinct than the characters in previous games. Like uh, Sonia? Um, I actually kind I actually kind of dig Leon. Because Leon's just like a dumb piece of shit esports dude, and like, I just kind of like him. Um, fucking, uh, Nessa? In a different format. And, and some, like, a lot of the characters are different. As opposed to, like, um, what was it? Well, Let's Go is a spin-off. Let's Go is a spin-off. Moon and Sun, I can't even see. Um, Aloha Man in, uh, uh, Aloha Professor Man, who is just, uh, Professor Oak in Swim Trunks and a, a, a doctor's coat. A lab coat. That's it. That's it. Who even was the rival in that game? I don't. I don't know. No, it was. It was Woohoo Man. Um, Honolulu. That's what I'm calling him. That's probably racist. That's probably racist to call him Honolulu, isn't it? 
How was the rival in Sun and Moon? Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's true. How was the worst rival in the series? Nah, it's Hop. It's absolutely Hop. Every time Hop showed up, I'm like, God, just go away. <laughs> My fave Pokemon character is the child in a Pikachu costume. Yes, we stand on See? Someone gets it. No, Hop is the worst in all of your Yeah, I, I legit could not stand Hop. Like, I don't even care. Like, fucking... I didn't even play the game, and every time Hop showed up, I'm like, God, this guy oh, again? I just, I all of them. <laughs> oh, look, it's the Doom Hunter. I I have I ever told you I used to have a crush on Brock as a child when I watched Pokemon? I mean, we all did, let's be real. When he uses his rock-hard Pokemon. Uh, no, how is worse. Hop, while annoying, at least serves some importance to the story and develops a bit. How you could literally remove entirely from the game and you would lose nothing. Well, I can't say anything because I didn't play Sun and Moon, so. Fight. This is bad. Like by the end of the game, but I do agree, you do fight Hop way too many yeah, times. Like he, was obsessed with winning and he, Welcome to he just fucking committed Sudoku. Whereas, like, like. Every other rival was just like, okay, next time. Like, Hop, Hop, you need to, you need to chill put on your big boy pants. Yeah, like, just chill out. Just like I fucking take a sand tack. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I think that's a big part of why he came off as annoying because he's around so often and you fight him so many times. Enjoy what is undoubtedly my finest. After you see my snap, you're also gonna be wrong. Okay. Um, oh, um, I'm JK, JK. I sent Rex. I, I'm JK. I sent Rex playing with the log and I'm just vibing. I cannot wait to see that then, because Rex is the boy and you are the girl. I love you. How's it going? Doom Hunter time. Uh, its shield and sled are weak points. Destroy the shield with the plasma rifle to briefly disable it. Destroy the sled to permanently disable its protective shield and missiles. So basically, I need to plasma rifle, and I, of course I can ammo. Wait, freeze! Damn it. Okay, I'm gone. Goodbye. <laughs> are there any tiny enemies I can get ammo off of? Oh, thank God. Come back. I need you. Excuse me, sir. Go. Son of a bitch. There, take that. Oh, I didn't have a blood punch, damn it. Oh, I died. That's fine. That's fine, though. Okay, where where did he go? Rip and tear. Where did he go? He's over here. There we go. I'm getting some. Oh, yeah. Damn it! Damn it! Stop. Maybe I don't know. Come here. Here we go. Um. Yeah, I really do. 
And I have this guy. Like, damn it, he exploded. There we go. Okay, come here, you salty son of a bitch. There we go. And he's dead, but now I have to fight two at the same time. So, there's that. Is it, though? Is it really? Oh, and I still have to clear out the room of the rest of the demons. Like, come on. Where the heck are all the Doomy boys? Are they? Oh, kill the priest guardian. Oh no, wait, that was me checking my objective. Oh, I have to go down here. Wait, no, I don't. Oh wait, never mind, I do. <laughs> I played this game like last week and I already forgetting all this bullshit. D shut up. Do you ever realize how much you want to bitch you are? <laughs> what? Too fast. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, I don't know. Whatever you want. Oh, I don't know. Leave me alone! I'm looking down. There we go. Okay, that's one down. We only got one more. So we may actually end up finishing uh, early today. Fucking... No. Uh, I'm gonna say... No. Oh, I split that guy from the dick up. I, I did, though. Did you not see that? Excellent. Excuse me, sir. Oh, health. I need health. That's why I need. Ugh. What's going on over on that side of the room? What? I'm 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 just trying to beat this Doom Hunter. I see. Oh. We need an excuse me, sir, counter from when you play this game. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Don't worry, I have several extra lives. Q&A, what's your in real life consumable that gives you a plus health? <laughs> yeah? Mine's Oreos. <laughs> Mine's Oreos. Uh, love me some Oreos. Yeah, right? I mean, we could go down to the counter store. They have Oreos there. A whisk? Do you really want to whisk that? Can you stop talking? Yeah, that's all. I'm out of talkies. <laughs> My vocabulary no longer works. Oh, talkies. Yeah. <laughs> also, this guy was just here. Hot take, I like Oreo Thins more than any other type. The rest have too much cream, which I don't usually... Okay. I disagree. More, the more cream, the better. That's why we always go for the mega stuff. Oh, yeah. 
No, we can't, we didn't get the mega stuff, but we made our own. We made our own double mega stuff. stuff. Times two. Yeah, you take two double stuffs and you just squish them together. He is now blessed by the the Doom Slayer core, or whatever the the Demon Slayer core. I mean, to be fair, it is technically a Demon Slayer core. Blasphemy in the chat. Mega stuff's a bit too much. No, you can never have too much cream. You're not invited to my parties anymore. <laughs> you can never have too much cream on an Oreo. Listen, if we were eating Oreos, you can absolutely have my cream. Well, thank you then. This got weird. Video. Yeah, I got weird. I can't handle more than a regular. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? This is going in a weird direction, and it's all because we're fucking weird. What the fuck is happening? We are we phrasing, yeah. We are deteriorating the quality of this good Christian stream. What? Just kidding, it's not. What else do you want me to call it? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a good spot to end the stream, don't you think? <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, fuck, kill me. Yeah, we really do. We've been quarantined too long. I mean, we're not quarantined. We do this to ourselves. Day seven, starting consider eating toilet paper. No, that's a valuable resource. <laughs> uh, but with that said, we're gonna wrap things up here. <laughs> a great, a great note to end it on, don't you think? spent like an hour arguing about Pokemon. Yeah. But anyway, with that said, we can wrap things up here. So thanks for watching this BGN live stream live here on Twitch or on YouTube if you're watching the replay afterwards. No, Make sure is. shut up. Make sure you follow us right here. I feel responsible for ending this stream. <laughs> well, I'm not going to start another level because that's going to take way too long and we're pretty much almost at the limit, so don't feel too bad. Uh so what's up for next week? I will get to that if you let me do my outro. <laughs> Make sure you follow us right here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Network, so you can get notifications on when we go live. We stream every Tuesday and Thursday from 12 to 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure you go and follow us on here so you know when we stream. Come and join us. It's always a fun time. Also, go ahead and subscribe to us over on YouTube, youtube.com slash Network, where we upload a bunch of great gaming videos, including stream VODs, uh, podcasts, unboxings, live streams, funny edited content, and more. And then also make sure you click the motherfucking bell. <laughs> bell, bell. The chat's going crazy with bell right now. Hit the bell so you get notifications on when we upload so you're the first to see the new videos as they go live. Why are you slowly pushing me away from the mic? Because you don't deserve the I will run your ass over with these wheels. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll finally, go ahead and follow us over on Twitter at BeardGamingN where you can get all the latest updates on BGN, when we upload videos, and when we go live on Twitch, as well as my dumb opinions on movies, games, anime, TV, and more. And really dumb memes. Specifically, I found the Out of Context regular show account, so I've been retweeting a bunch of dumb Out of Context regular show clips, yeah, which, um... Yeah, the worst content on the internet, <laughs> subscribe. Which, um... You know what? I think that's a good. Way. I think that's a good way to end the stream. We have to talk um, about what we're doing next week. Well, no, I think it's a good way to end the stream. Hang on, one second. Oh Jesus! I need to find the thing. One piece. Da 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 da. I just need to make sure that the the audio outputs. Yes. Okay. Uh. Okay. Let's go to Twitter dot com. Let's see if I can't find it. We're gonna we're gonna end the stream the only way I know how, which is finding some. D oh, there's this one, but I there's a, one. there's a better one. It's this one. Hang on. All right, are we ready, boys? Hopefully, I won't get uh, content ID. Hopefully, I won't get content ID. But here we go. Uh, ah, what the? F okay, here we go. Objection. Overruled. Overruled, Judge, or is it overcooled? <laughs> Wait for it. Get back to me. Overruled, Judge, or is it overcooled? <laughs> Objection. <laughs> so Overruled. Overruled. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's all I wanted. Oh my God, it's it's the it's stupidest shit. It is the stupidest shit. 
But anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching. Um, Cheetos Apple Pie. Um, yes. Subscribe to Mythical Kitchen. Man, regular show is so fun. I miss regular show. It is so funny. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you on Tuesday with our Smash multiplayer stream, which I'll be having a special guest, a couple special guests on for that one. So tune in on th Tuesday for that one, and uh, we'll see you then. Keep on gaming, everyone. Bones? What? Are you licking the Cheeto dust off your fingers? No. Okay, bye. <laughs>